What is going on guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are going to be looking at the top 10 mods that I have found for this March that are compatible with Java 1.16.5. So these mods are all very interesting. I've chosen kind of some simple ones and uh, a couple more complicated ones just to kind of get everybody started into modding Minecraft and if you are already into it, these might be some very cool mods for you. The first one we have today is the horizontal glass panes mod. So what this mod does is it just creates horizontal glass panes. Now you can create a ceiling or a floor out of the glass panes. And this is just a very minor change to the game, but it adds a very key feature that a lot of people have always wanted. You can also place them at the top of the block or the middle of the block. It really just depends on what you want. All right, the next mod we're gonna look at, I already have it plugged in as well, is the infinite lava source mod. So basically all you do is two lava buckets, the same as you would for a water source, and now you have an infinite lava source. Click it, lava bucket right there, and all the lava is still there. It's something that people have always asked for in the game, and you know, it kinda, it's kind of a broken mod because you can use this for basically infinite smelting fuel, but it is still definitely a cool feature that a lot of people have always wanted. So on the topic of lava, next up we have the Lava Monster mod. So this mod, it does one simple thing. All it does is it adds lava monsters to the game. So I came to the nether, the easiest place to find lava monsters, and look at them just floating around in the lava. So these guys are very interesting, very cool. They do... They basically have the same attack as a blaze and when they walk on land they actually leave fire behind them. Uh, I go ahead and I spawn one here just so you guys can see it actually creating fire on the ground and it does shoot the fireballs just like the blaze does as well. And these guys are just very interesting and add a very small tweak to the game uh, to add a little extra difficulty not only in the nether but in the overworld as well. Uh, they will spawn in any cave that has lava in it. They'll spawn in any lava at all. They can leave the lava and they will attack you as soon as they see you. They will also spawn in groups and can be very dangerous. So the next mod we have is the genetic animals mod. And as you can already see, there is a pretty big difference here. Uh, the animals are all more realistic looking. Uh, Honestly, the horses haven't changed too much. They have a slight texture change, but for the most part, they are the same. But as you saw, the pig was very different. The cow is extremely different. It has giant horns now. It is a full on bull. And what do we have over here? It looks like we've got some sheep over here that uh, are also rams now. Fish look uh, exactly the same exactly the same but anyway i've got some different spawn eggs here so we can actually see what everything looks like we've got a rooster here um basic oh wow that leg movement is terrifying honestly we also have the llama Wait, honestly i don't remember what the oh wow that's different yep the legs on these are so weird you have the sheep as you already saw the rabbit, oh wow, that rabbit looks really good, honestly. I like that texture. Cow, the genetic mushroom. So this is obviously way more realistic now uh, because you know, this is how a mushroom would be in real life. If you've ever seen one. And then we have the pig and that thing, wow, that thing's a tank, honestly. It is huge. The features of the animals are of course the main thing that has changed with this mod, but there's also a bunch of different new blocks, there's a lot of different eggs uh, that the chickens can spawn, there's an egg carton for you to put all those in, there's new saddles, new posts, a bunch of different new blocks. It is a very interesting mod, and really if you're looking for more realistic and different looking animals, this is definitely the mod for you. It is. They honestly look very good. I really like the textures that have been put into this mod. And I would definitely recommend this to anybody who wants uh, different textured animals in their, in their world. The next mod we have is the Enhance Enchants mod. 
So this mod creates a ton of new enchantments that you can put on your armor, your swords, your pickaxe, your bow, everything. Uh, as you can see here, I'm jumping pretty high right now and that's because I have the springy four enchant on my boots. I also have night vision and water breathing enchants on my helmet. There is basically no limit to the amount of enchants you can do now. There's tons of different ones, lifesteal, lightning, XP, sword master, which actually every time you hit a mob you get XP from that mob, you don't even have to kill it. Does the same for bow master and for the mining master as well. And then you have interesting mods like TNT miner, which if we put on a pickaxe right now, we can actually start mining with basically TNT. This thing is pretty insanely powered. Uh, it does a pretty wide damage range and this can vary a lot. See like that one really didn't do that much damage and it's probably because it's stone which has a higher uh, blast resistance than dirt. We also have enhancements for enchantments that were already there like unbreaking and protection. And then we also have some pretty cool new enchants uh, for damage, like fire aspect uh, enhanced, and then also explosive arrows for the bow as well. This uh, explosive arrows enchant doesn't actually seem to do any extra damage to the mod that you are hitting, but if any mobs are surrounding it, it will do a lot of extra damage to them, and it will also blow up a pretty big radius. So you're definitely going to want to be careful with this if you're using it anywhere near your base. Unfortunately, we don't have time to show off all the crazy enchants that are in this mod, but if you want a full walkthrough of this one, leave a comment down below and we can totally do that sometime in the near future. Next up, we have the Botany mod, and this mod is actually insanely cool uh, if you're really into the agriculture and growing food aspect of the game. You basically put these little pots down, put some dirt in them, and put some food items into them, like potatoes or wheat. Uh, you can also do carrots, beetroot, basically anything you want. This one I have on top of the chest is a hopper botany pot, and it actually just goes straight into the chest as soon as it's grown. Uh, if I stop bone, bone mealing it here and just let it grow, it will grow on its own and you basically have an infinite food source right there. You can create a whole system around these botany hopper pots that basically auto grow you food and put it directly into a chest and then you never have to worry about farming again. This makes it very easy so you don't have to deal with automatic farms with villagers or anything like that and it honestly just looks pretty cool. I really like the design. You can see the one on that chest back there just broke. It makes farming very different and very cool. So this is my favorite mod that we have in the list today. It is called the Netherite Plus mod. So basically it adds a ton of Netherite features to the game. As you can see here, these are Netherite Shulker boxes. So it basically protects your Shulkers uh, if they were to fall into lava. And it actually does protect them from TNT as well, although the mod is a bit glitchy on that part right now. As you can see, I just picked that Shulker box up from the lava. I can throw it in and it's perfectly fine. This adds a huge safety feature to your shulker boxes. But shulker boxes are not the only thing that have been updated in this. There's also a netherite shield, there's a netherite bow, there is a crossbow, a trident, and for some reason a netherite fishing rod. You can really do whatever you want with netherite now, and it does increase the durability of these items. I'm in creative so you obviously can't see that, but the durability and the damage is increased as well. This is a very cool mod that expands what you can do with netherite and definitely makes it more worthwhile to go get uh, in the nether because after you get the first bit that you need for your armor and stuff, you never really have to go back. But now you have to mine a little bit more of it. Next up we have the repurpose structures mod. So what this mod does is it just changes up the existing structures in Minecraft, it adds them to new biomes, changes the block palettes, everything like that. It makes villages much bigger, much cooler, and it does a ton for the Minecraft world. It adds so many more structures to explore and I really enjoyed uh, just going through the world in this mod and finding new types of structures. Basically any structure that you can think of, including a woodland mansion, you can now find in a jungle or a taiga, just any biome at all. 
outposts even have new updated looks and you can find them in jungles. I'm showing off a lot of jungles here just because that's where I spawn the world. But we also have like a red sand pyramid now in the Badlands biome. And as you can see here, the chests are very similar and they've added new advancements for finding these things. In cities, now repurposed, retextured, and you can find them in the nether. And they look crazy cool. They also have pretty decent loot. You can even find netherite scrap in one of these treasure rooms as well. They've also added uh, the nether stronghold as well. So now you can find the end portal while you're just exploring the nether. These things are crazy dangerous though. They, sp they spawn blazes and they also have a lot of lava around them. They are at very low levels so they are very dangerous. So you're going to want to be careful if you're using this mod and trying to find the end portal. Next up we have the Good Night Sleeps Dimensional mod. So this mod adds a ton of new features to the game, all of which are in the two new dimensions that it has added while you, when you use the certain beds and mushrooms that they have provided. So the mushrooms are super hard to find, you have to either find them in caves or in the nether, but they are very rare. But when you do, you would be able to access these new dimensions. So this is the dream dimension and there's tons of new blocks, new ores, uh, there's new pickaxes, armors, and it's a lot to explore really. As you can see here on the creative pages, there are a lot of new things. But there is another dimension as well, and this is the Nightmare Dimension. This thing is very scary. It is a mix of the overworld and the nether, kind of. It has a lot of new blocks, same as the Dream Biome, and it is kind of terrifying to be in, if I'm being honest. It has a very dense fog that you can't see very far in, so it makes exploring this uh, very scary. There's also some new mob textures as well, and as you can see here, I don't want to run into this guy if I'm exploring one of these dimensions. So if you're looking for some new dimensions in your Minecraft world, something to kind of expand the game, this is definitely a great place to start. It adds a lot of new blocks, but not as many as some of the other dimensional mods, so it kind of gives you a easier place to start in, and it is also kind of terrifying. So the last mod I have to show for you today is very interesting and very cool. It is probably my second favorite to the netherite mod. And if we hop into survival mode here, you'll see exactly what it does. So I've picked this spot because it's got some enemies and it's still close to spawn so we can come right back to it. But as soon as these pillagers uh, kill me here and we come back, you will see exactly what this mod does. Gonna switch back into creative so we don't immediately die. And this is the corpse mod. So basically what it does is when you die it leaves your corpse uh, that looks exactly like you there and it is basically a chest with all your armor slots and everything and you can immediately transfer your items over. Uh, one of the cool parts about this mod is if you leave your body there for over an hour you will actually turn into a skeleton. This doesn't affect any of your items, but it is kind of funny to see. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We are putting out a lot of different Minecraft content and now even modded Minecraft content. So we've got a lot of different stuff going on and it's definitely a very interesting channel to check out. Be sure to do that. And I'll see you guys next time.